All right. Hello, everyone. My name's Chris. This will be my first YouTube video, and I'm just gonna show off my new e-bike. This is the A-Sync A1 Pro. It's a little modern moped, and it's a ripper. I had an intent. Sorry, I had an intent on going downtown Santa Fe today, which is middle of August 2023. This weekend is the Santa Fe Indian Market, one of the biggest festivals or markets in the whole year in Santa Fe which is full of festivals and markets. However, I have a flat in my front tire from cruising all day yesterday, so I'm going home halfway on my journey to the plaza. With that said, I'm just gonna do a quick review on this Async A1 Pro. I love this bike. I absolutely love this bike. This is my third e-bike in three months. The first e-bike I bought, which I still love, put a lot of good stuff on, and that is the Maverick Misfit foldable e-bike 750 watt rear hub motor. I love that bike. First bike. Cruised it already about 250 miles. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but like I said, I got three bikes in three months. So I've been having to share the wealth, in a sense. So I got the Maverick. And then, about a month after that, I finally got my hands on a Talaria XXX which I love that bike just as much. Oh my gosh, it's an amazing bike. It's just a little bit of a different feel. More top speed. But we're talking about my newest bike, which I just got a week ago. First shipment in the States for consumers. I know a lot of YouTubers have got the demos to review and stuff, but this is one of the first in the States that's a, com a consumer bought product. And I actually ordered this at the beginning of June when they were doing a crowdfunding for a 20% off. So I got this bike for 2,800 bucks. Right now it's 3,500 bucks, which in my opinion, I would immediately buy it at $3,500 right now if for some reason I had to. This is an amazing, amazing bike. I absolutely love it. There are a couple things that I don't really like about it. One of them being how they have their classes set up. Class one is only pedal assist there's no throttle in class one which I wish there was because it's just nice to have that simple cruising ability when you're in slow paced traffic like I constantly am in downtown Santa Fe cruising around the plaza it's just nice to have that low class throttle op option so class two is throttle and pedal assist and that's up to 20 miles an hour which kind of is like economy mode you can say and it works great i cruise in class two quite a bit if i'm just putting along class three is only pedal assist this is where i wish class three just like class one had the option of using the throttle. I don't know why they don't just make it where you can use throttle or pedal in all four classes. 
that brings me to the off-road mode which is what everyone's gonna be using off-road mode brings top speed to 35 which I know a lot of you Suron heads and stuff and Talaria heads will be like oh that's pretty weak but for some of us cruising at 35 is plenty what I will say is the difference on this bike and the Talaria my XXX is the Talaria has a much more crisp throttle the, the throttle on the Talaria is almost perfect all the way through you twist you get more pull as it should be the one thing I don't really like about the throttle the factory throttle on this A-Sync is there's a little bit of give before it, it pulls into play which just takes some getting used to but I still really really prefer the Talaria's throttle on another on the flip side I feel like when I'm going at higher speeds on the Talaria the motor is really really loud it almost sounds like a dirt bike it almost sounds like a YZ80 just ripping by and this thing just has that normal hub motor electric sound but at a max wattage of 2500 this bike is amazing and just on that turn right there I totally felt my tires start to give out yep so my front my front flat tire is giving me problems because it's a pretty fast leak when I started this video I had it maxed out well almost maxed out at 20 25 psi the tire calls for a 30 and right now on turns it just wants to give very weird feeling but that has nothing to do with the bike this bike is absolutely amazing you will not regret it I do not get near the amount of attention and compliments on my Talaria or my Maverick that I do on this everyone that I see is just in awe and in shock at looking at this bike because it's not common it's super super futuristic super modern no one has them and it is a looker it is a looker just look at this thing I think it's a gorgeous bike absolutely stunning look at that light I got a lot of good toys dirt bikes street bikes quads now electric bikes and I gotta admit, gotta admit I think this async right here is my favorite of them all check them out thanks for watching